volcano is a complex volcano located on Luzon Island in the Philippines in the province of Batangas. Taal is the second most active volcano in the Philippines next to Mayon Volcano. It has had 34 recorded historical eruptions from 1572 to this day, all of which were concentrated on Volcano Island near the middle of Taal Lake. The lake partially fills Taal Caldera, which was formed by prehistoric eruptions. The Al Volcano is part of a chain of volcanoes along the island of Luzon, which were formed by two tectonic plates colliding over 500,000 years ago. Since the formation of this large caldera, subsequent eruptions created another volcanic island within the Al Lake, known as Volcano Island. The Al Volcano is the smallest active volcano in the world. Its unexplained shape and location on an island within a lake within an island makes it a unique geologic wonder, enthralling thousands of tourists and geologists yearly. This island covers an area of about 23 square kilometers and consists of 47 different overlapping cones and craters. It is one of the active volcanoes in the Philippines and part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. The lake's water is a diluted form of sulfuric acid with high concentration of boron, magnesium, aluminum, and sodium in salt form. Its average depth measures 20 meters. Swimming is allowed in the lake. One of the world's lowest and deadliest volcanoes, the Al Volcano has been spewing ash and lava and has forced thousands of residents to evacuate since January 12, 2020, Sunday starting at 1 p.m. As of today, Alert Level 4 is up over the volcano located in Batangas, which means a hazardous eruption is possible within hours to days. The volcano has not erupted since 1977, a mild phreatic event, a steam-driven eruption that occurs when magma heats ground or surface water. The Al Volcano had erupted 33 times between 1572 and 1977, according to Fevox. The eruption of the Al Volcano varied from phreatic, phreatomagmatic, and strombolian and occurred at different sites in the volcano system. Phreatomagmatic is an interaction between magma and water resulting in the ejection of steam and pyroclastic fragments, while strombolian means the ejection of lava from the summit crater. Here is a timeline of more than 400 years of the Taal volcano's eruptions. 1572, a magmatic eruption occurred at the main crater. 1591, 1605-1611, 1634, and 1635, each year represents a separate eruption, but only the 1591 activity was identified as a phreatic event. 1641, a phreatic eruption that came with Tephra Fall, which means fragments of rocks ejected into the air by an erupting volcano. 1645, Eruption in the main crater. 1707, a phreatic eruption at Binintiang Malaki caused shockwaves. 1709, a phreato magmatic eruption occurred at Binintiang Munti. 1715, an eruption occurred at Binintiang Malaki. September 21, 1716, a violent phreato magmatic eruption off Kalawit, which is underwater, that comes with Tephra Fall base surge, which is a type of flow of pyroclastic materials like gas and rock fragments, seiches, or waves in enclosed bodies of water, killed an undetermined number of people in Taal Volcano Island. 1729 an eruption occurred at Binintiang Munti. 1731, an underwater friado magmatic eruption at Pirapiraso caused base surge, tephra fall, bombs of large masses of molten rock, 
and seizures that affected the all volcano island. 1749, a very violent phreato magmatic eruption with tephrafall, base surges, projectiles, seizures, acid rain, shockwaves, and subsidence caused fatalities and destroyed properties in Ta'al Volcano Island and the lakeshore towns of Ta'al, Sala, and Tanawan. May 15, 1754, the old towns of Sala, Lipa, Tanawan, and Talisay were destroyed and 12 people were killed by a very violent Friato magmatic eruption that occurred at the main crater. 1790, 1808, 1825, 1842, 1873, 1874, 1878, 1903, and 1904. Base surges affected the entire volcano island Talisay and lakeshore barriers to its west. Asheville affected the island and surrounding towns. September 28 to 30, 1965, the most famous Freado magmatic eruption of 1965 caused tephra fall, projectiles, ash fall, base surge, acid rain, seizures and shockwaves and killed 200 people. July 5, 1966, a moderate Friado magmatic eruption at Mount Tabaro caused tephra fall in projectiles and affected the volcano island. August 16, 1967, a mild Friado magmatic explosion at Mount Tabaro caused tephra fall and projectiles. January 31, 1968, and October 29, 1969, two moderate Strombolian eruptions occurred at Mount Tabaro, causing tephra fall and lava flow or fountaining. September 3, 1970, September 3, 1976, and October 3, 1977, mild phreatic eruptions occurred at Mount Tabaro, causing tephra fall.